Great to hear it, Chris. Thanks. Well, new this morning, a week from today is when we can expect Thanksgiving traffic as people begin to get closer to family. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zoo is live at the Highway Patrol Station. Michelle, are you talking to a highway trooper about how to stay safe? Yeah, Nicole, good morning. We are talking about more people starting to hit the roads for Thanksgiving holiday to be with family. We were just talking recently how we do expect lower travel volume, but still lots of things to keep in mind to make sure everyone is safe on the road. So I'm joined right now by Trooper Joe Hobus. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. So what are some things that people should keep in mind and what you're looking out for? Well, number one, you know, people are going to be off of work, kids are out of school and it's going to be more traffic on the highway. There's going to be less air travel this year. So probably uh, could down more uh, to more people out on the highway. And we always talk about uh, what I call the four fatals or the four killers. Uh, number one, uh, speeding. You know, there's big black, big white signs with the black letter says speed limit. You know, they're there for a reason. And uh, we just ask you to do the speed limit. Uh, number two, uh, don't drive while you're distracted. There's a lot of things that uh, can distract you while you're driving. Uh, the cell phone is probably the biggest thing going on right now, probably the most popular. And, you know, if you got a text, uh, pull off the side of the road and, and text and then get back on the road safely. But uh, uh, anything that you do that's distracting is going to take your, your, uh, your vision off of the highway. It, it's not a good thing. So don't drive while you're distracted. Always, always, always wear your seatbelt. If you have your seatbelt on and you're in a crash, you have an 88% chance of surviving that crash. So I always encourage people to wear the seatbelt, and it is the law. And then last and certainly not least, um, never, ever, ever uh, get into a car while you're impaired. Um, it only takes a second to change your life or someone's life, else's life for, uh, forever. Uh, last year in the holiday period, we had 1,380 collisions. 19 of those were fatal, where 22 people lost their lives. South Carolina roads and of course our target is zero. Is it a big number? Of course it is, but is it attainable? Yes, but ultimately it's responsibility of the driver, the person behind that wheel of the car. So all great life-saving tips. Obviously we should follow these every day of the year, but I know Highway Patrol will be out and about leading up to Thanksgiving and also as people come back. We will. Uh, starting Thanksgiving and through the holiday season, uh, Christmas and, uh, and, and New Year's, you know, it's going to be kind of all hands on deck. And we'll be looking for those uh, certain individuals that are doing those things, uh, you know, speeding and not wearing your seatbelt, distracted driving. And if you are doing those things, then uh, you're probably going to, uh, don't be surprised if you meet, out, meet up with myself or one of my associates. So uh, and we want everybody to have a great holiday, but we want you to have a safe one as well. And by doing those things and, and, and following those rules, not only do you protect yourself, but you protect others. All great advice. Thank you for doing what you do and for being with us this morning. Thank so you heard him say it. They will be out watching people, making sure that they are following the speed limit, not driving distracted, especially on Wednesday and Thursday leading up to Thanksgiving. And of course, on Sunday as everyone is heading back so we can all have a safe holiday going to and from. Ted.